The way that clinical trials can really improve in regard to their patient centricity approach is in relation to how they convey the information to patients about the nature of the clinical trial that which, which has been undertaken. And I think I'm a very big critic of the current approach in, in the industry towards uh, research subject information sheets. The problem we find is that A, the information is put in very technical uh, detail and can be very difficult for a patient to understand. I mean, the very basic concept of informed consent is the patient can understand, retain, and comprehend the information that's being given to them. That's the first problem I, I see at the moment. The second issue is the sheer length of some of these documents. Um, sometimes you get almost like a telephone directory's worth of information. And again, I think that's very difficult for patients to, to assimilate. Now you could argue that the farm industry are going very much towards the letter as opposed to the spirit of the law, and they're probably being advised to do that. But I don't think that is a good result for either the pharmaceutical industry or the patients who are going to be the subjects of the clinical trial. The other biggest challenge I think facing the pharmaceutical industry in regard to the, the administration of clinical trials is I think is a European-wide issue. I was only reading uh, yesterday in preparation for this conference that the recent European Union uh, directive on clinical trials for medicinal products is a directive. That means it allows it to the other 27 member states to decide how they interpret that directive. So already you don't have a uniform approach to this issue across the European Union, which I thought the European Union were very keen to have a uniform approach in that respect. They should have made it, in my view, a regulation. That would have made it much easier to have a uniform approach to this across the board within the European Union, which would have facilitated much better, um, I think, cooperation. And indeed, I think people would be very much aware of the, the, the uniform requirements in the European Union. And there is a big problem, for example, if you get ethical approval in the United Kingdom, and you'd like to move that project to Germany, there may not be the same uniform approach to that clinical trial in terms of things like consent, confidentiality, and indeed the very nature of research um, subject information sheets, which we discussed a few moments ago. You may have seen that at the turn of the year there was a challenge to the nature of what's called safe harbour agreements, which govern the transfer of patient data from, uh, from the European Union to a country outside the European Union. And there is a perception, I think there is, and having worked in the United States, I think I can, I can I agree with this perception that uh, privacy and confidentiality regulation in the United States is not as stringent or as assiduous as it is in the European Union. But that broke down because there was, it was challenged in the European Court of Justice and it was ruled that that, that was uh, not a safe way as it was currently constituted to transfer that data to the US. So I think, again, getting a uniform international perspective, I think, uh, on, on the use of uh, information technology would be a very good step in the right direction. I think there are also uh, data protection challenges in terms of how you share patient information and so on and so forth. There's also in the background the issue of, uh, you know, if you have a data set uh, on computer, can you then put it to a different use without getting the consent of the patient? Now, for example, again, with the lack of uniformity throughout the European Union, in Ireland, through their ad adaptation of data protection regulations and directives, particularly directives, forgive me, uh, they say that you don't have to get another ethical approval from the patient if it's for medicinal purposes. But that's wide open to interpretation. Mm -hmm.